Hello everyone. Today we are going to be starting our third dynamic programming algorithm tutorial and this is on weighted interval scheduling. Now weighted interval scheduling states that first what you have to do is you have a given sets of weight given uh, given weight, set of weights given and these are the starting time and finishing time of these of these weights and the main criteria for this problem is that you have to maximum maximize the total number of weights so that the weights the set of weights that you have is non overlapping that is these weights have to be non overlapping with each other the set the set of weights have to be non overlapping with each other for example the, this weight uh, weight weight number 2 this one uh, the non overlapping weight that it has is 4 this one because this one this one ends when the, uh, after this this one ends before this begins this weight begins the starting time of this is after the finishing time of its previous non overlapping weight now uh, for this <clears throat> the, let's move on to the simulation but then before the simulation the first thing that you have to check is the dynamic programming algorithm now this is the array this uh, this is an iterative step like this, the first base case is zero given the, for the first slot of the array and the, for the next next few slots of 2n these, this is the formula that you have to follow, which is the same as the recursive formula. Now let's look at the problem. I guess you'll understand it after I explain what is what are these what are these boxes and what are these arrays. Okay, first one is vi. Vi is basically just the value of these uh, the the weights, just the weights of these uh, lines that's given that's drawn here. So vi is first one is obviously zero. V zero is zero. And V1 is 2, V2 is 4, V3 is 4, V4 is 7, and V5 is 2, V6 is 1. Okay, so this is the VI, uh, uh, VI array. And what is this PI array? PI array is the pre predecessor array that is non-overlapping. Now let's start computing the predecessor P sub I array of this. Now... For, uh, for v1, the p sub i is just 0 because that's the base case. And before that, there is no other, you know, uh, interval scheduling before this one. So for this, it's 0. For 4, there is no, there is no, uh, uh, there is no weighted interval that's, that, that's, that ends before this starts. So for this also, it's 0. And then for 4, uh, for v3, this one has this this weight as that that ends before this starts so for this it's two all right now for seven okay before we move on to writing this p sub i is will not be two because we're not going to be writing the weights we're just going to be writing the index number so for this it will actually be one so for V3, it's actually 1. And then for V4, there is no weight that starts, uh, that ends before this starts. So it will be 0. For two, for V5, we have three, we have at least three weights that, that ends before this starts. But then another criteria of this algorithm is that for choosing the P sub I, we ha you have to keep in mind that if there are more than one weight that ends before this start that ends before this uh, weight starts then you have to check the rightmost weight of uh, weight among all these multiple weights that you have so since these three are non overlapping to this weight this v5 weight so we just take we just take the rightmost value so for, from these three the rightmost value is v3 so we select 3 and then for v6 also, we have many overlapping, uh, same overlapping weights. So we again choose three, the rightmost one among all these overlapping weights. All right. So P sub i is computed. We just write it, write it down in the array boxes. Zero, zero, one, zero, three, three. All right. This is, will be another zero. So zero and then one. Zero, three, three. Let's just write it down a bit properly because we're gonna be needing this array a whole lot more than you think. I mean, in the algorithm, the main job that we do is with this 
vi is with these two arrays vi and pi all right so let's start with the algorithm what does the algorithm say first m0 slot is initialized to 0 so let's do that immediately m0 is initialized to 0 get that pencil still not getting used to it i'm sorry guys okay this is 0. Now, from for, for j equals to 1 to n, this algorithm states that the vj, wj is actually vj here, vj plus m p, p sub i, p sub i that we have, pj is the one that we are computing the p sub i array. Okay, so m pj plus vj, and the maximum between this and this will determine the, uh, the place of this slot mj minus 1 is simply the one previous to that. So let's just start computing it. Maybe you'll understand. vj plus m p sub p sub i. So vj is vj for, for this. These are the index numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so for, for the first slot, the vj is 2. 2 plus m p j. m p j is this. So M P M P J is M one. I'm sorry. Yeah, M P J is M zero actually. Okay, let's just write this algorithm down here. M J equals to max of B J. M J is maximum between B J plus M p j and m j minus 1 okay so v i for v 1 is 2 all right and m p i is m 0 so m 0 is 1 so m 0 is 0 so 0 so 2 2 plus 0 is 2 and mj minus 1 is m1 minus 1, so m0, m0 is 0. So the maximum between 2 and 0 is simply 2. Now for v2, the same thing, v2 is 4. So 4 plus m pi, p sub i is 0. So 4 plus m0 is 0. So 4 plus 0 is equals to 4. And the next one is mj minus 1. So m2, uh, m2 minus 1. So m2 minus 1 is m1. m1 is 2. So 2. So the maximum between 4 and 2 is just 4. The same thing for v, v3. v3 is, uh, v3 is, sorry, yeah, v3 is 4. Okay, this is v3. v3 is 4. A 4 plus m p sub i is m1. m1 is 2. So 4 plus 6. So 6 and mj minus 1 is m3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, so 6, sorry, 6 and 4. Okay, let me just raise that. Six and four. Okay, six and four. Now, what's the maximum? Let's, let's, let's check it again. 4 plus MPI. PI is P1. So, uh, PI is 1. So, M1 is 2. So, 4 plus 6 is, uh, 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 and MJ minus 1 is M3 uh, minus 1, which is 2. M2 is 4. So, 6 and 4, the maximum is 6. Okay, so for V4, let's do this for the last time. Then, I'll just write down, for, fast forward towards the answer v4 the value is 7 all right so 7 plus mpi pi is 0 so 7 plus 0 is 7 so 7 comma mj minus 1 is m3 m4 minus 1 which is 6 so 6 7 and 6 the maximum is obviously 7 okay and then for the rest after computing we get after computing for the rest we get 8 and for this one let's do this one m this for this vj is 1 1 plus mpj is m3 m3 is 6 so 6 
and mj minus 1 is 8. So 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 and 8, the maximum is 8. So this is the answer for this. This, this is the optimal solution, the uh, maximum overlapping, non-overlapping, maximized weighted interval scheduling. Uh, the, the, main, the complexity for this algorithm is order of n because it just goes from the loop, just traverses from, from 1 to n. The, it just traverses till n, so the order is just order of, order of uh, n, and this one is order of 1, because it's just one function. It's just try, trying to find the maximum, which can be done in just order of 1 time, in constant time. Oh, okay, so this is the uh, complexity for this algorithm. Let's just check the answer. This is what we were getting. Uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 8. Okay, so this is the optimal value, and this is how you get all right, so that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you've uh, you've understood the whole problem, the uh, how to solve the weighted interval scheduling problem. And please subscribe and give a thumbs up if you want more CS tutorials. And uh, thank you for watching. Good luck.